you know, I was in London last week and I was talking to a pretty major banker and he was saying that a lot of the major banks now in London, they've basically cleaned up their acts and they don't take um, this kind of money anymore. But there's a whole sub-level of law firms and offshore entities basically that chase actively after this money. I mean, a lot of London runs on this money. Um, it's, there's no doubt about it. What you're looking at here is a, is, a, is a huge amount of money that's slushing around the offshore world because for, for tax reasons or for basically people trying to hide it from their spouses or for inheritance purposes. So, I mean, a lot of very wealthy people um, now set up trusts. And I, I mean, the trust business is probably the, I think the next big thing that will eventually come out. We know that when, during the Panama Papers, we found a lot of uh, problems with the way New Zealand trusts were being abused. So people would go to New Zealand, set up a trust and then abuse it. And the New Zealand government has since cracked down on that and they've changed the laws. But it's only one, I, think, one, uh, I guess, uh, I guess the tip of an iceberg of something much bigger, I think. The Panama Papers was really the culmination of five other stories that we'd done in the past on offshore um, entities, basically. This wasn't the first time we'd had a leak of an offshore law firm. In fact, I think it was the fourth um, for us. And so we had done the other stories. They were big at the time, but of course people can't remember them now. But each story led to the next story, which eventually led to Mossack Fonseca, which led to the Panama Papers, and which will lead to something in the future. There's no doubt about that. I have no doubt about that. I think the biggest thing that we're striking here for change is fear. People don't know what's coming next. They don't know um, what are the law firm we're going to get if we do in the future. And uh, yes, I do think it has led to a change of behavior. What we found after the Panama Papers and with the previous leaks, even with the HSBC leak that I mentioned, is that an awful lot of people around the world came forward and admitted to having their offshore accounts. And in fact, we probably raised hundreds of millions of dollars around the world, just basically people coming forward because they weren't sure what was going to happen next, and they were pretty confident that at some point they were going to get caught, so they came forward with amnesties and basically got fines instead of going to jail. So I do think we're having a change, but you're absolutely right. It, it'll just, you know, corruption will always be with us.